Hey guys, what's cracking? Godspan here. Welcome back to the next installment of the custom card review for this season. Uh, pretty good ones last time around. Like, really. Felt kind of inspired. Not too many mistakes, uh, relatively speaking anyway. The, there, there, there were <laughs> obviously small edits here and there. It's been a while since we've had the perfect card, right? You know, the golden apple of Eden of custom cards, Nabs. I mean, have we even ever encountered that? I feel like we have a couple times, right? Maybe, 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 maybe. It's hard to remember now. Jesus. Uh, anyway, so we've got a, a lot of ground to cover, so let's get right into it. So, Tweetug R has a Angel Feather Ride Line, and I think this is for standard, right? Because he said Ride Line for standard. Yeah, okay, so this is definitely for standard. So, Guardian of the Horse, Advachio. Hmm, all right. Standard stats and allotment of traits. Continuous on van. If a card was put in your damage zone this turn, all of your primal units get 3k power. Active on the opponent's turn too. Ah, ah, we've got some Gavriel shenanigans here. But uh, unlike Gavriel, this is a caught skill in which it doesn't go up from there. It is 3k and that is flat. And I think that's probably the better way of doing it. Uh, auto on van circle. When this unit attacks, you counter blast one. You choose a card from your hand. Put in your damage zone. Choose up to one face of card from your damage Woo! zone and put it in your oh. hand. Then perform all the oh. effects below depending on the number of cards in your damage zone. Three or more. Draw Woo! a card and choose two of your rear guards to get five. Four or more. Choose two of your rear guard opponent's rear guards and put it into their damage zone. Then your opponent chooses a number oh. of face up cards in your damage zone equal to the number of cards that was put in the damage zone and put in the drop zone. Okay. Five or more, oh. which is ultimate break. At the end of your turn, choose a card from your damage zone, either put it in your hand or top or bottom of the deck. At ultimate oh. break. That's pretty oh, cool. Oh, 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 oh. You netting there, homie? What's happening? Oh, oh, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like that uh, baby when zero thing where he goes, oh. <laughs> he's, 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 we're hyped. All right, so clearly you've got thoughts here. Take it away, brother. Woo. First of all, choose up to one face up card for your damage zone. Amazing! Oh, thank you so much. Finally, the Messiah. The Messiah. Thank you so much. Ah. Uh, so, a couple of interesting things. I also like that um, the first one is draw, and uh, I don't know about the draw, but the plus 2k to regard, that's pretty cool. I don't mind that. Then the. Uh, you know, the classic Angel Feather Control, that's not bad. I like that as well. Right, right. And then... <laughs> and then, choose girlfriend for your damage zone, either put it into your hand, top of the... So that actually heals you. Interesting. Right. And what's interesting about this heal is that it's only an ultimate break. So you can't do very annoying Raphael things. You're like, oh, I'm at three. Well, now I'm at two. Good luck breaking that. No, it's only if you're an ultimate break. So in, in theory, if your opponent wants and they can see the opportunity to put you to five, they will literally just not. <laughs> they will just mm -hmm. abstain from that because you're just essentially giving them a plus for free and it won't matter. So that's cool counterplay. It's it's inherently mm -hmm. defensive in nature. And even the control well, has the defensive aspect of it. Well, I do think it's cool. I think uh, the five more fight, I think that's, that might be a bit too much, actually. Like, it's uh, cool, right? But I also think it might be a bit too much. Well, it's a little bit much because it seems easy, right? Because all you have to do is counter blast for it. And it's uh, it's just something you can do every turn. So I feel like maybe with this effect, you would have to fulfill some sort of other like alternative effect, right? And I'm not quite sure what that would be. Some sort of cost or... I don't see... Honestly, I think... Uh... I think just get rid of the five or more effect, and this card would be perfect. Yeah, hell, even that that would be interesting as well, right? It's just if you cut that, or if you did want to do the five or more effect, uh, you could have it be a situation where you do something absurd, like ah, discard a copy of your Vanguard, thus you're giving up Persona Ride for the ability to heal. That would be kind of trippy, but um, that seems a little weird. Uh, so yeah. I mean, this isn't even, like, that bad. Like, it's cool. Like, it is really cool. Maybe a little bit over the top because it's just a CB, but it's not that over the top. And everything else here is goddamn beautiful. It's, like, the Mona Lisa of what an Angel Feather-esque ride line would be in standard. I just, I, I, everything here, 
I can't even complain about. It's perfect. Yep. It's an art form. It feels angels. It feels correct. I mean, it's mm, just, it's just, so good. Just get rid of that last effect and I will be nutting. Kidding. I will be nutting. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, and now you've got the two, one, and zero. So the two, obvious stuff here. Guardian of the fish, Barkule. Okay, so we've got an interesting guardian animal s idea going on here. I think of Guardian and Yatos from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series, how they had sort of a tribal uh, aesthetic going on with her, and she, but she was still angel-like in her own way. That was kind of cool. When this unit is ridden upon by Guardian the Horse, uh, Advacule, uh, I don't think this is how you put it, but we get the idea. You may deal one damage to your Vanguard. If you have four or more cards in your damage zone, heal up to one card instead. Oh, snap. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? Oh, what snap. Uh, that's trippy. So, okay, the ride, this ride line is kind of hedging on building up your damage easy so that you can get these effects. I don't know. Ah. Uh, 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 mm. uh, um. I was just about to say that I appreciate that um the first part isn't that um isn't just rescue ex, but like uh, I don't know about that man. <laughs> the weird thing about this right is you don't replace that damage, and that's like I get mm -hmm. that oh build up to five. But then, ironically, this won't let you get to five. <laughs> like, if you have four or more in the damage zone, you heal instead. And I actually like this, right? I think this is mm -hmm. the cool part. It's the first part that feels a little bit confusing. I'm like, it's not worth it. It just isn't. If you're on low damage, then just be okay being on low damage. Like, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, to be fair, you do need at least um, three damage to plus off of the first effect. Yeah, I feel like what it could have done is if uh, is you can keep this effect, but add a stipulation on this first part where it says, and if you dealt the Vanguard a damage to this effect at the end of the turn, choose one card from your damage zone and put it one face up card from your damage zone and put it into the drop zone. Hmm. Because that way you don't have to just stay on that damage. It's like a little weird. I don't know. Uh, I, mm, I'm a little that does mean that um, that does mean that if you don't have any face up damage by the end of, uh by the end of that turn, sucks to suck. <laughs> uh ooh, that you know what you are right. Um, hmm. What do you think? How would we fix this? Mm. Mm, okay, how about CB1? Put two cards from the top of your deck into the damage zone, and then choose a card from your damage zone, put it into your hand. Uh, choose a face up card from your damage zone, put it into your hand. And then at the end of that turn, you heal the damage. Yeah, that works. Good cycle. Mm. Uh, grade 1, AK boost. So here's Guardian of the Crab, Muriel. These are not like the most glorious animals you could have picked. You picked horse, fish, and crab. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Hey, who am I to judge? Uh, when this unit is rode upon by Guardian of the Fish, Barkule, draw a card and put this unit into your damage zone. Then choose a card from your damage zone and put it in your soul. Ooh, so this probably has a damage zone effect, right? Yep, here it is. Con damage zone. During your turn, if you have four or more cards in your damage zone, aka Limit Break, and Advacule in its card name, so you have to be at grade three. All of your units, all your front row units gain 2,000 power. No, during only your turn. That's pretty cool. And it can stack for more power. So now you have a little bit of a celestial thing going on where you're trying to very effectively put like this certain card in the damage zone in order to maximize your offensive output. That's very Angel Feather. And it's also not overpowered. I like that. Mm -hmm. That's that's pretty damn good. All right. No, no complaints there. That's awesome. Uh, and then of course you've just got starter, um, Guardian of the Star Zodiac. See, this is more what I'm talking about. This is the shiznit. How do you go from crab to the stars? <laughs> That's just kind of funny. Auto normal starter. Honestly, <laughs> they don't even sound like um, they don't even sound like angel cards. They just sound like um, Genesis cards. 
Huh, you, yeah, they sound like they could be Genesis cards, uh, but the way they're, the Guardian thing is kind of going on, uh, you could make an argument for some sort of odd OTT variant going on, more o tribal version of it, because OTT kind of branches out a little bit with that, right? I mean, Battle Sisters weren't strictly OTT in terms of, like, the, the, what was I looking at? Like, the Eastern mythology aspects, they were nuns mm -hmm. with guns after all. Ah, we digress, right? Uh, oh, I will oh. say that um, what's up? I will say that uh, Genesis witches do have uh, an animal motif to them. Oh yeah, I guess they they do, right? Like witch of ravens, and you've got. Uh, but then they also have like other witches, like witch of peaches, um, and you know witch of oranges. So they kind of go in between the 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 fruit and the animal bit. They're a bit half and half. Uh, right line here. Hello, the speeches. <laughs> yeah, the beaches. Oh, man, she was, she was something Ooh. else too. Uh, like literally this entire ride line, except for the grade two, is like amazing. Just goddamn masterpiece. I love this. Uh, he's got more cards for it though. That's cool. Let's see if he can keep up the quality. So, Guardian of the Lion Humliel. You see, even this sounds a little bit more dignified and cool, right? Although it does <clears throat> except for the homliel which is just hamiel with an l <laughs> uh it, it, it doesn't sound like uh, angel fire the unit but eh, we digress uh continuous to rare if a card was put into either player's damage on this turn this unit gains ten thousand power active on the opponent's turn too um okay for uh for a rear guard beater that's okay but what about the second effect this will make or break it for us Auto on the rear circle at the end of the battle this unit attacked a vanguard if you've got an evocule vanguard put this unit into your soul your opponent chooses up to one of their rear guards and puts it into their damage zone. If they put a card into their damage zone, they choose a face-up card from the damage zone and heal it. If they did not put a card in the damage zone, the opponent chooses one card from their hand and discards it. That's a little bit um, oh, chill, off chill. theme. Chill, my guy. Hmm. Chill, my guy. <laughs> this suddenly turned chill. a little bit sheer Nui. I think it just says draw a card instead of... Um... <laughs> instead of making the opening discard. Right, because like making the opponent discard is needlessly like an off theme antagonistic thing to them, right? Like you're you're focused I get the idea of you're focused on making them neg no matter what. But the usual underpinning is if they don't want to neg, they have to let you plus. Like that's the balance, the twee and the la as it were. So yeah, that's a, the everything <laughs> here is really good stuff. It's just that don't make them discard. This is weird. It's not it's not a catter thing to do. <laughs> like mm -hmm. at all. Uh but yeah, I, I do like all the stuff here. Uh Guardian of the Twins, Ambriel, <laughs> Gemini. Um auto on rear circle. When this card is placed, if you have an Evacuel Vanguard, you soul blast one. The next time you would perform a damage check, perform. Look at the top two. Choose a card into your damage zone, put the rest on the bottom of your deck, and activate any trigger effects of the card that was put in the damage zone instead. So it's essentially a rescue check, but a little bit on steroids because you get to peep top two. So you rescue check on a uh, V Platina Ezel stipulation. Trippy. Uh, mm. That's a little dangerous because of the over trigger. She's going one up, I don't know about this. I think. Uh... I think we've gone too far deep, but like this was, this it's like seeing an innocent girl getting beaten to death. <laughs> it's like it's like reading Metamorphosis. Oh God, no, not that one. Uh, it's it's accurate. Yes, that one. <laughs> it's, it's accurate, the... but holy shit. <laughs> yeah, um, and the problem is that if you do hit the uh, OT here, uh, you can do the Keter OT, which means that during main phase you can have that thing live to get all of your extra drive checks Ooh, that's pretty dirty yeah it shouldn't have been a modified rescue check i feel like instead it would have been cool if you just take you do everything but take out this part like this guy has all the greatest setup the setup and the concepts are so there and he does like 90 percent of it right it's just that he goes a little overboard at the end like he, he just he 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 had it he had it perfect but then it continued. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> Damn, still cool. Guardian of the Scales, Zerial. See, this is cool. This has a, like a, a a justice theme, like a lady justice bit. That's nice. Uh, it's just, it's kind of funny. It's just a, a rear guard grade too. On on rear. When this unit is placed, if you have a Vakio or Barkio and its card name is your Vanguard. Oh, so it works with the grade two Vanguard. Neat. 
You counter and soul blast. Choose a card from your damage zone and put it in your hand. Then deal one damage to your vanguard, and until end of turn, this unit gets 5,000 power. If a trigger unit was revealed for the damage check, this unit gets to. Why the hell do you get more power if you had a triggered unit? You get to activate the trigger anyway. It's like it, the, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Ah, uh, nah. Chill. Okay, this is the first one that I just think was like, nah. This is too much. This is a this is a V series card, man. <laughs> chill, daddy. Chill. What the hell? <laughs> Please tweet to girl, good girl. Please chill. <laughs> this is crazy. This is this is literally better than Jaff Kill, and Jaff Kill is a busted staple for Angel Feather and V. Ooh, that's bad. Ooh, that's bad. Bro, it, I was just I was just happy that it's not gonna be rescue plus one. And you made it rescue this is EX rescue. and you made it rescue EX. This is rescue. Uh, yeah. You see, take out the rescue clause and instead make it to where if you had if you put a trigger unit into it without the rescue, it gets five thousand power in a turn. AKA for wasting a trigger, you get a little bit of compensation. Not a lot, a little bit of compensation, and there's no damage checking here. Then this is okay. Then this is good, because it's still plus one. It's still perhaps a little bit of power. And the cost for it is definitely acceptable, especially in Angels. It's good to attack on Soul Blast cost, which does so you can, you know, feel consequences. Uh, that's, that's very distinctly how you would fix this card, because otherwise it's... God, I need this in premium now. Uh, Melancholic Sniper. It's another grade two rear guard. A uh, continuous on rear guardian circle. If you have four more cards in your damage zone, gain 5k power and 5k shield. Hmm, interesting. Uh, funnily enough, this, uh, I wonder if this would end up being a generic if they ever had a limit break dependent encounter ride line pop up, like maybe Revengers or Liberators or something. Uh, auto on rear circle. When your Vanguard with the Vakiel attacked a Vanguard, Attack to Vanguard. I'm going to just assume that because of the wind, it's attacks of Vanguard. You counter blast one. Choose three of your opponent's rear guards. And from among those three, your opponent chooses two of those rear guards and put, in, and put the rest into the damage zone. If a card was put into their damage zone, your opponent chooses a face up card from their damage zone and heal it. Wait. Uh, no! Hold on. You could just deal a damage for free if, like, well, I mean, counter blast, but you still deal a damage with one of their units if they haven't taken damage, aka guarded effectively? No! Wait. This so isn't even more they... of us locks. <laughs> choose three of your open trigger for more than your open choose two the triggers. Mm, ah, chill, daddy, chill. You need to all, chill, bro. All you need to do to win with this card is if your opponent's at five, swing at the vanguard first so that they don't have a choice and then just counter blast and GG. No! Oh, God. It Man. was so good at first and then these last couple cards have been bad what the fuck yeah they do the uh, damage is permanent <laughs> yeah it's permanent it, it, yeah that's that's what i'm saying if, if they're at five just swing a van first yeah. pop this easy gg there's no damage check. there's no chance to heal even the ot is on top it doesn't matter buster scoop them up it melancholic sniper that's bad. that's not a that ain't a melancholic sniper bro that is a fucking nuke <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that is a poison knife in the ribs, sniper. Bro. <laughs> nah. Bro, nah. This is a that is a raging dragon fight, bro. For real, for real. <laughs> oh god, that's horrifying, is what that is. Uh. Mm, mm. Okay, these last two uh need to be worked. Um, this this one already said how to fix it. With this other one, the first effect is fine. I get it. That's cool. Um, for the second effect. You had it. You had it. All you had to do is keep all this top part, put the one out of the three into the damage zone, so you have a Thavis Clause mixed with the Romeo Reverse Clause, and then they heal out. You, they heal out a card from the damage zone. So it's a removal of one. You see me to remove one. Boom. If your opponent did not put a card in the damage zone with this effect, draw one card. Boom. There is no, they keep it in the damage zone. There is no, oh, if they took a damage this turn, they heal one. No, no, no. They will heal one no matter what, so they don't automatically die. And you can get a plus if, you know, they are playing greed on or something. Cool. Simple as that. Uh, but uh, aside from that, this was beautiful. This has so much potential. I mm -hmm. like this one a freaking lot. It felt like he understood Angel's 
so well. And that's great. I there I can feel several different styles here. I can feel the celestial bits, I can feel the Gavriel bits. I could even feel a little bit of a Malkuth going on in here, man. Right? Like it felt cool. But then it just got a little bit overboard. But I mean we've seen that a lot, but yeah, good stuff here, man. I know I got a little bit harsh at the end, but that's because I was so invested in rooting for you, man. <laughs> and, I, and I still root for you. This is still cool as hell. Uh, just a couple of adjustments here and there, and you've got one of the best ride lines. Uh, okay. So, uh, Civilian467. Uh, so, he's a dragon player. Ride line without an E, so it's red line. Uh, drag assassin from Keter Sanctuary. They all have a new keyword that is assassinate. Ooh, boy. Uh, huh. That's, uh, uh, that's neat. Um, okay. I, although we won't be getting keywords, I don't think in D series. What's the roll with it? You know, this is this is customs. Let's have fun. All members of the deck are abyss dragons. Okay. The assassinate keyword is an assassinated card is removed from the game, similar to an over trigger at its use. Woo! Oh, okay. No, wait. Hold Ooh. on. No, hold on. Hold on. I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> <laughs> Assassin the removal card. gimmick they have been very prominent about making the removal gimmick a quote unquote downside as opposed to a part of a clan right I have a bad feeling about this <laughs> let's see let's confirm it all skills are on VC unless stated otherwise why don't you just state them bro uh okay supremacy drag assassin king Althaniel. uh <laughs> cool Player it. Luard. <laughs> Spikes. They were. Josh, I figured it out. Ain't they fine. were roommates. <laughs> they were roommates. <laughs> <laughs> That's Such a, a, a pointless farce. The mirage of order and safety at the Vanguard's feel. Let's make this job quick and painful. Ooh. Uh, be afraid. Okay, if five or more cards, so it continues, if five or more cards have been removed from the game, your front rows get 5k okay. power and this unit gets crit plus one. If 10 or more have been removed from the game, 10,000 power instead of 5,000. No. Oh god, I don't like this. I don't like where this is going, bro. Game re removal game doesn't even have a... Doesn't even have a zone. There's yeah, no removal zone. how do you count zone. it? <laughs> like, literally, when you remove a card, it's like, just put it in your pocket, bro. <laughs> 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 do you count how many cards are in their pocket <laughs> like mm, yeah that's that, that, that's a very good point act once per turn soul blast retire one rear guard or counter blast two and soul blast two and retire two rear guards uh okay activate the effect below according to the amount of rear guards retire of this cost fascinating okay so soul blast retire one rear guard can allows you to choose a rear guard from the opponent to assassinate and this unit gets 10,000 okay. power. Okay, so that's why. Uh, all right. Your opponent may remove five cards from the top of their deck and assassinate two cards from their hand. If they did not, assassinate your opponent's Vanguard. <laughs> oh, no. And your opponent chooses one great three or less unit from their hand or soul and writes it as... <laughs> you are high. You are so fucking high. You are so fucking high. Oh, oh my god. god. What is this shit? Dry. <laughs> who asked you? Who asked you to do this? Wait, nobody. Wait, it has another effect. It does oh, more. God. It never ends. Auto on once per turn. When a card is removed from the game, uh, at least it's once per turn. Thank the Return. Lord. Yep. Uh, cost soul plus one. Choose one card with the same card name as the remove card from among your opponent's rear guard, soul, or drop. It is assassinated. What the fuck? No. What is this shit? What the uh, fuck, bro? Bro, nah, this dude is adopted. Nah. <laughs> what do we begin? Nah, what is this? Uh, what is this? So this skills really you? easily. You're able to assassinate kind of frequently, right? Um, because I'm gonna assume there's gonna be a lot of assassinate support, but this is already like removing cards is super devastating. And whenever you remove, you remove more. And like you can just do this effect, right? And you like assassinate the opponent's vanguard, which can be dumb in some circumstances, because if your opponent, you know, isn't a good player and has Persona Ride in hand, um, bad. You can, like, so many decks in D series is inherently reliant 
on a very particular vanguard it's why we have ride lines in the first place we are guaranteed by the very essence of the format itself we are guaranteed a vanguard and then you're just like but anyway ride something new this is Ugh. this is so this is so parasitic like like imagine imagine your opponent being unable, like they like like they rode into Basagra, and then your opponent's like, oh yeah, so ride something else, and you don't have a Basagra in hand. <laughs> your entire deck just fizzles. Those arm cards, fizzles. All your like it's pressure, fizzles. It's, it's 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 bad. It's so bad, dude, 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 dude. This will literally murder Greedon potentially. Greedon might actually die. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Because if, if you're playing Greed on Mask and you've already removed the regular Greed on it, and typically you, some decks do this, some decks don't, but they may not run the other Greed on. But, like, regardless, you are on Greed on Mask, you've already removed the Greed on your soul. If you don't have another Greed on Mask in the hand, you die. Immediately, if you're already at six, you die. No! Okay, okay. <gasps> That's crazy. No! No! That's so fucking. Dude, you could have just said oh you know assassinate just means retire right like a normal person but no you just have to be unique about it you just had to oh they, because removing is a thing that hasn't been expanded upon maybe you should expand on it right no bitch it wasn't expanded upon for a fucking reason right put this shit back in your ass where it came from i swear to god awful oh jesus <laughs> christ all right so dragon assassin <laughs> commander claret shard oh god claret uh, similarities are uh intentional auto when this card is assassin when a card is assassinated draw a card that's not once per turn what um, the fuck <laughs> auto when this unit is placed on vc but i bet you were gonna specify vc um choose one card your opponent's drop and assassinate it that's free um act on rear guard uh, i like how it is an rc it's rg it's scuffed uh what's per turn if your <laughs> vanguard has drag assassin its card name Okay. Uh, <laughs> and your opponent has one or more cards in their hand and on their RC. RC, R pick one! Uh, cost <laughs> so last one. Choose one rear guard and one card in your opponent's hand. Your opponent chooses one card from among those and you assassinate that card. If your opponent chose a rear guard, this unit gets 5k power, 5k shield, and your opponent. Why'd you punish what them? What the? This is a very hard choice. Why are you punishing them? Ugh. Who made this? God. Just scroll, oh. scroll up. I want to see this motherfucker's name. Scroll the fuck this up. This dude I is this. uh C villain. I don't think he even spelled villain right. He needs an extra L. You're missing an L. <laughs> Bro, you're not. This Red guy ain't a C. Line. This guy's a villain. Meme this burst. guy's a straight up villain. God. This is so scuffed. I hate to be an asshole about it, but man, it's been a while since I've no. seen something this oof. This is unfortunate. Uh, okay. Why? Okay, Drag Assassin Rogue Mika. Okay. Flavor the text. Next uh, the best part about this ride line is the flavor text, not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> Eliminate the dragon. Target Why are you gonna specify Abyss Dragon if you've already sit at the top? <laughs> They're all Abyss Dragon! <laughs> <laughs> Eliminate the target and fall back. Such is the role of a drag assassin. Cool, I guess. It 7k works. power base? What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, why? Why is there three? Oh, God, I don't even question this guy's grammar. Um, okay, auto. I'm gonna assume. Okay, so when this unit is rolled It's upon, a 7k power base. <laughs> that's trippy. Uh, oh, and when. So it's also meant to be your Vanguard because it's got a win road upon skill. Uh, trippy. Yeah. Um, search your deck for up to one grade less or one grade one or less drag assassin unit card. Call it shuffle your deck. Um, what the fuck? That's free. Wow. Um, this just power crept the Youthburg grade one by a lot. Uh, okay, so auto. When this unit is retired from rear circle for the cost of your unit's ability, use the card from your hand and discard it. And call this unit from your drop to rear circle as stand. Then choose one of your opponent's cards in the drop zone and assess it. Um, let's see. Retired, uh, for the cost of your unit. Let's see. Does this, there's one rear card. Okay, so that doesn't retire. It has to be for your vanguard, right? And when do you choose this? So it's an act, uh, 
You know what? This Rotopon skill is so bogus, but as much as I hate to say it, this is probably the first effect where I looked at this and I'm like, okay, this is actually okay. But <laughs> <sighs> make up for it. Grade zero. Drag Assassin Recruit Rusty Jagger Draco Kid. But Why? Are you, this is a fucking Alco Force card now. What the fuck? This is an Alco Force card. Well, I mean, they've had <laughs> Draco Kids in a few different, like, iterations. No, no. That Recruit. Drag Assassin Recruit. That is an Alco Force card. Isn't there a recruit <laughs> in, um. Whatchamacallit? Uh. Gondiva. I think they had a, like, a. Like, a Scarlet Flare Recruit. What's the name of it? That's okay, I'll look at a recruit. Uh, oh, you're right! Okay, cool. Uh, always try to whirl, I guess. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Alright, and then standard first Vanguard skill. In regards... Okay. In regards... I don't think that's uh, what? Spelled, that's not how you spelled it. In um, to dresses. Assassinate would remove all original dresses, but only count as one card for Alphanal skill. Okay. Right. What? Because I I'm so it. confused. <laughs> what the fuck? This right. is so scum. This is so fucking scum. There's more. <laughs> I don't... Oh god, I don't want to read any of this. <laughs> uh, okay, let, let's just let's just speed. Pa Why is there so much? Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna speed past this. When this unit is placed on rear circle, if you've got an alternate counter blast, retire another card. Uh, Wait, your retire your another unit. You can retire your Vanguard for just <laughs> Honestly, yeah, kill him. Just, just, just murder your own Vanguard. Put it out in some misery. He doesn't want to do this. You've got such a cool concept here, but, like, no. If you have a Vanguard with Althanol's card name and three or more of your opponent's cards have been removed from the game, uh, alright, here's something that actually counts how many, uh, rather than, oh, did you choose one? Um, Soul Blast and retire two of your grade one units. Why? Why? One. Um, choose one of your opponent's vanguards and it gets minus 5,000 in Great! Now we just randomly have a uh, power reduction on the vanguard. This was totally in theme and necessary. Why? <laughs> Dark Pride what Rouge. Fuck? Ah, I see. Uh, Dark Pride Dragon. Okay, then. Um, cool. when your vanguard attacks another vanguard, uh, okay, uh, very specific, but fine. If your vanguard's Althanol, um, unfortunately, uh, Soul Blast 1, it gets this effect. After the guard step, retire one unit, choose one card in the Guardian Circle, and assassinate it! What the fuck? <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to nullify the effects of, of, like, Sentinel effects while you're at it? You know, why not? Just, go Why ahead. not? You, you know you want to, you know you want to do it. Uh... This can assassinate their OT, man. Uh, oh. I have a headache. Oh, that's unfortunate. I have a fucking headache. Uh, if you have a Vanguard with Althanolan's card name, discard one card. Switch your deck from two grade one units of. Why? Why? It plots this for free! <laughs> it's not once per turn either. <laughs> oh my god, it's not once per turn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> a parting gift. But it's not the last one. Dragon. Okay. Yes, uh, blue summoner dragon. I think this is supposed to be the blue spotter retrain. Uh, power of 7,000. I guess we're just keeping up with that. Why not? Um, because clearly 1k reduction in power on the great ones is the ultimate way to make this fair and balanced. Right, Naps? Uh, when this unit yep. is retired oh, with the cost of unit skill. Just one of your units, and now you get 3k power and end of turn. Just choose this, and it becomes a 10k beater. Oh, now it doesn't fucking matter. Now that it's uh, 7k, it doesn't fucking matter. Right, right. You know, <laughs> brilliant, right? Uh, choose two or more of your opponent's cards that have been removed from the game, but this card in your... Okay, so if two or more have been removed, place this unit in your soul and counter charge one. <sighs> now the 7k doesn't matter. <laughs> cool. Great. I think this is supposed to be like Abyss Summoner. Oh yeah, it's blue summoner, so yeah, so there's like an abyss summoner bit to it. Uh red summoner. When this unit is retired for the cost, uh choose one of your units, and that unit gets 3k in another turn. If two or more of your opponent's cards have been removed from the game, choose one of your units and it gets 3k and soul charge two. Okay. Uh honestly okay. not the most bombastic one. It's just, you know, in line with everything else for what it's worth. Uh, okay, so it's a grade three order. Ah, right. Of course it has an order. Of course. Um, <laughs> play a card with counterblast. Want to retire three of your rear guards? Mm. Uh, if you have an Alphanol, 
choose one of your opponent's grade four vanguards and assassinate that unit then your opponent chooses a grade three or less guard from their Andrew's soul and writes his rest if you did not assassinate your opponent's vanguard with its effect choose any number of your opponent's rear guards whose total sum the grades is less than or equal to your opponent's vanguard grade assassinate those units what the fuck what is this what is this uh, you get assassinated in your opponent's vanguard twice. <laughs> the, the next stream of cover text has been clearing the way to anyone wanting to see the next cards down. All that is in suggestions I made in developments. Curious why you chose murder as your keyword rather than say assassination is assassinated. Um, this was edited, wasn't it? Oh. Murder. Well, it was edited yeah, six I guess. days ago. Wow, this is post editing. That's crazy. Um, okay, so what happens when you murder your opponent's vanguard? Do they ride? Okay. Yeah. And last, I'd probably keep all the available. I I'd probably keep all the available targets to public zones of information. Thank you. I love this dude. This dude is doing Thank God's you. work. It's crazy. He's out here. To right, you, have to, wow. you have to give him your God's men title now, bro. I'll do the, the, <laughs> the Jesus picture that they show sometimes it's kind of neat if you want a legit scrolling experience why don't we just move along all right thank you bro uh hmm, good okay and now it's thread text uh no oh, God, no no, no. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, Dragus, uh, uh, great to normal order let it in cripple the God. kill i think we're all God, i, I think cripple the kill is directed towards us the viewer People okay. then kill, bro. I'm already killed. I'm already dead inside. What more do you want from me? Uh, I, I'll, I'll like to be crippled. Um, counter blast one and retire rear guard. If you've got a drag assassin, vanguard drag assassin, it's guarded. What, what happened to the Althanol thing? All right. I, 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 I guess they, they want this to be activatable on grade two. Fine. So your opponent's rear um, guards. That unit cannot stand during your opponent's next turn, and it gets when this card is moved to drop or bind. Assassinate this unit. That's so fucked up. That is so fucked up. Why is it Mega Colony? Ah! That's fucked up. That's ah. fucked up. <laughs> another grade two or oh wait, there's another thing. If three or more cards are removed from the game, remove this card from the game. Return one grade two or less drag assassin for your drop tier. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Moving on. I just gotta say, uh, <laughs> infected drag assassin tactic, infected darts. Um, darts. Soul blast one, retire rear. Just your opponent's units gets minus five. Oh, joy. Uh, it's the power reduction gimmick again. Uh, it's my favorite. Uh, uh, if your Vanguard's power is great, if your Vanguard is grade three or greater, well, your opponent's Vanguard, that unit gets minus 10,000 power in the end of turn. Um, it says units, so you can minus 10k their Vanguard. Just mm -hmm. go blast to retire rear. That's it. Wow. There are more oh. cards removed from the game. Remove this card from the game. Return a drag uh, they did Great. This this one needed repeating. Um, cool. Uh, grand tactic. One by one. Uh, again, these flavor texts kick ass, but that's about it. Um, okay. Vanguard with Alphano. All right, cool. So specifically, can only oh. work with the great three. Neat. Uh, auto once per turn. When a card is assassinated, uh, it says, oh, I guess it's a set order. Yeah, okay, it is. Um, when a card is assassinated, retire one rear. Make your opponent look at seven cards at the top of your deck and add a card with the same name as the assassinated card to the hand. Then make them put a card with the same name as the assassinated card to the soul. You know how your vanguard attacked. If you think any more cards have been removed from the game, put this card oh, here. No, no. Card. Stand your vanguard against no, drive by no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. That means let's score all the way up. Oh, it's nonsense. <laughs> um, so that means that it's 10k to the front row on the crit is gonna be it's gonna go again. Um, great. Okay. Uh, more. How, wait, how much more is? This? We're almost, we're almost there. We're, we're almost, almost a predator there. code. I like this guy. We're I know this guy's there. got good quality. We're oh my almost God, there. We're almost, well. we're almost to the we're Messiah. Almost there. We'll meet we'll you soon, Frederick. <laughs> okay, uh, Drag Assassin Contingency Scheme Skyfall Dis. So I start a youth work skill now. Why? Just a quick name. Oh. Oh. Uh... This is what you feel every day, Maps. I understand now. This one's broken me a little bit. How is it that you change your weaponry, youth? 
Huh. I want to <laughs> laugh at this. I do. But I'm dead. If your vanguard is a dragon assassin, choose one of your units and it gets power plus 10,000 until the end of the battle. At the end of that battle, the, if, that attack, if that attack targeted your vanguard and did not hit, it's a blitz order. NK is a blitz order. Power plus 2, retire to rear guards. Up to one grade 3 card in your opponent's soul and assassinate all cards of that card named your opponent's soul. During your opponent's next ride phase, they ride a card the same name as these card assessing this effect. That ride becomes a persona ride. I mean, cool, I guess. <laughs> I mean, they just don't. They just don't get to ride back down to Youthburg, but they can still persona. Ride? What? <laughs> that was weird. Uh, grade three unit. Oh, we're back to units. Okay. Um, it's, it's oh not, god, it's not why? Claret Core. We're almost there. Claret Core! This Claret Core! Cost is, this ability's cost is reduced by Carol Blast 1 to 5 or more cards have been removed from the game. Oh, the joy. Uh, when this unit is placed on rear circle, Carol Blast 1 to put this unit in your soul. Search your deck for the 1 order card, reveal it, and put it in your hand, shuffle your deck. The blitz, the sets, anything goes. Great, cool. Infinite consistency. Just what I'd love to see. Uh, act plus return. If you played an order card with Dragon Assassin's card name this turn, cost retire rear guard, choose a card from your opponent's drop and assassinate it. Neat. Uh, okay. A, a lot of talk. Uh, thank you to that guy. That's neat. Cool. Um, Althanil's group are basically sketchy allies to the Shadow Paladin group of Keter, not members of the nation, military, mercenaries. During Rebellion Arc, Youthburg hired them to help out. And they took that as attempting to kill Bastion, but they failed. Now they're just back to doing assassin stuff and training for now. The next custom card. Guess we will. I'm sorry, man. I want to be positive. I'm usually good cop in these things. But I've got no words. That was bad. That was bad! Okay! An idea for V Series cycle cards. Ah, interesting. Hi, Frederick. What's up? So, this one's a grade 2 Royal Paladin. You do not remove cards from your hand for your G-Assist if this card is added to your hand for that G-Assist or if it is your Vanguard. Hmm. Okay. A cool, neat bonus if the other effects are good. Act on the Van Circle or the Rear Circle. Cost discard a Quick Shield Ticket. Oh, hey. It's a use for the Quick Shield Ticket. Search your deck for up to one grade 2 card, call it to Rear Circle, and shuffle your deck. Continuous. If the num if you have six or more units and your opponent's vanguard is greater or greater, this unit gets critical plus one. That's actually fascinating. That's interesting. But Nabs boy, been quiet for a minute. How do you feel about a uh, ye old royal paladin V series cycle card? Well, it's not drag assassin at least. <laughs> uh, this is a weird card. I. I think it would be fine if that third effect isn't there. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. but I feel like hmm, it's a little bit weird because a lot of the incentive here, right? Because this, this, all, these are both like contingency plan stuff, right? So mm -hmm. this is more of your constant, you know, the effect that you can rely on where it's like, okay. At bare minimum, this is the effect that I can deck build around. And uh, it's like, it's not that impactful, but I feel like it's not that bad because it requires you to have a full field just to get it. That doesn't seem that bad, right? I, I feel like that's, if anything, that's good. Because let's look at another example, right? It's the promos that they've been giving us for V-Series. The ones where it's like, oh, you know, beginning your ride phase or whatever, Vanguard's grade one, discard this be top five yeah yeah you, you you know the stuff right um they have secondary effects that are very prevalent to the clans and you can fall back on those even with the whole ride line modification thing isn't necessary so i don't know I think yeah this is, pretty good. this is pretty innovative it's it's, it's i a, feel like that's not that's kind of not the same thing it has the same bones it has the same bones but the meat that you get from those bones are different you know well, well like, yeah because they're different cards yeah, 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 but it's just that I took a peek at the the Kagura one, right? And it's it's just critical plus one across the board. 
Uh, if your opponent has no repair cards and your opponent's grade through grade, this unit gets critical plus one. Ah, but he has a plus different one. thing for his uh, quick shield tech a bit. Just yeah. Call him. All of your opponent's rear guards in your column are not affected by abilities other than this card. So retire all of your opponent's rear guards in that column. Oh. So column retire. See, that's a bit flavorful. Hmm. Yeah, I like the second skill a lot. It's just that the third skill, that the what gets me. Hmm. I don't know. It's just, uh, I don't feel it. Let's see. What do we got? Uh... Ray 2, uh, so this is the Gear Chronicle one. First effect is still a constant. The second effect, so your discard quick shield ticket effect for this is choose one of your rear guards, find it, search your deck for up to one card with grade plus one, uh, and up to one card grade minus one of the grade of the bound card. Um, call them in the rear circle in the same columns of each other to shuffle your deck. Ooh, so this is a, uh, See, this is a interesting That's pretty flavorful. That's pretty nice. Mm, that's pretty flavorful. Yeah, that's pretty flavorful. Uh, that's pretty flavorful. I like that a lot. It says that yeah, the the third skill is what's getting me here. That that felt that feels so out of a, uh, out of place. I, I think I'm starting to see your point now, um, somewhat because a lot of the flavor is in the second skill. I'll grant you that. Um, although, admittedly, again, these are all based on quick shield tickets, which are not constant. Although, uh, I wonder if there is a more consistent way to get quick shield tickets other than just going second. Wait, uh, that new Harmonix Messiah retrain that came out, didn't that have something to do with quick shield ticket? Well, I mean, you only get that if you go second anyway. So it doesn't give it to you regardless? Okay, gotcha. I just wanted to make sure. So, yeah, if yeah. it's a card that's live half the time, because I, I, here's the thing. I think these are really cool effects and they're designed pretty well, right? He definitely has like basically everything going on now we've moved on to a more advanced stage which is how applicable are these cards in actual decks right like this is already well designed enough that i think you could throw this to bushy r d and they consider it um and i'm like yeah eh, the crits right rear guard crit pressure that if, the, if that's the thing across the board that's what's getting you i'm like that that doesn't feel that bad to me i feel like that might be a, a good constant but it, it, here's the thing the constant of being a crit, maybe the crit is not as impactful depending on the clan. Like, why is it a crit that they get? Maybe it's because that's the least offensive thing. Um, perhaps if they were a 20, like if they got an extra 10k instead of the crit, so they were just ex big beaters, just generic beaters, maybe that'd be more acceptable than the crit. Um, I I like how they did the, uh, the festival collection cycle cards, personally. You know, like... Uh, well, one of the effects is, oh, you know, what they usually do, and then they remove the over trigger, so that um, so that they would gain something that their nation would do, but on a higher scale. Obviously, you cannot do that in V series because the over trigger doesn't exist. Duh. But something to that effect uh, would be great for um, for each of the clans. Remove a critical trigger from the drop zone. This unit gets an extra critical. Nah, just remove a quick shield, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna we're in a little bit of contention here, but I mean, God, th these are actually really cool. I think this is yeah. <laughs> I think this is honestly a little bit more innovation than V deserves at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. I, v isn't I, it's gonna so, die. It's so harsh. Come it's on. Harsh. Great. You're not gonna so. be one of those people. You're not gonna be one of those people that's uh, that is convinced V's dead, right? <laughs> um. <laughs> More like I, I'm erring on the side of practicality and thinking it's most likely dead, but I'm not like saying it is fact dead, and it's kind of sad to say that. Um, so he had a but V is the one format that needs innovation the most, Josh. It does, <laughs> you know, if they cared about it. Um, they my... did. That's why they released the uh, the promos that we've been getting lately. I'm not convinced <laughs> by that alone. So he's got a greed on this. Oh well. Uh, so oh, grade God. three with greed on number of cards in your damage zone for you lose become seven. This actually ended up becoming true. He, he's a hundred percent correct about that effect. Uh, auto in the hand. Okay, so this is where we get to the fan fiction land. So this is interesting. It's when your avaricious demonic grand greed on stands by its ability cost. Put a mask of hydrogen from your drops into your soul. Write this card as stand until the end of the turn. This unit gets the power and critical of the unit you rode had gone from effects this turn. You rode, and your opponent's vanguard is great through your grade, you don't personal ride this turn, active persona ride. Ah, okay, interesting. So, uh, <laughs> it's it's the Mask of Hydricum uh, persona ride business, but you're doing it in the middle of the battle phase. But it's when Greed on stands specifically. So, in other words, you don't get to have like three attacks or whatever. You still only get the two attacks normally. 
well, unless we see something here. Uh, auto van circle. When this unit attacks, counter blast one to remove a greed on that's different than this card name from your hand, soul, or drop. Put all of your rear guards in your soul. Should put four cards of desire, devil, and their different card names from your soul and call them the rich. Ooh, never mind. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, two full pause here. One, this is a bit too much easy multi attack here. Uh, although the desire devils and the soul thing actually does end up being a theme with the actual greed on mass, so that's kind of neat. Mm. But the other big faux pas, we've always talked about this. Uh, you should not put your persona remove effect on your main battle effects. Yep. That's not that's not good. They should be setup effects. We've always seen that. Um, so yeah, a couple faux pas, but I will admit. I will give points for being able to go out of your way to do a uh, alteration on the Mask of Hydricum fundamental gimmick and redefining it, right? Uh, that That is genuinely fascinating to me. Of course... I... Personally, I think that effect is kind of a hassle. <laughs> like, uh, do you, you, know, you know what I mean? Like, it feels like kind of a hassle. Compared to the actual greed on mass str uh, strategy. Right. And I think the reason why they did that is just so that you can get even more multi attacks from this effect and just do a really big burst strategy. But it's too much burst. Mm. It's too much. You know? Like, mm -hmm. ah, I don't like that at all. Um, plus, here's the thing. You know what happens after this turn? You die unless you ride into a uh, greed on, regular greed on. Well, uh,. <laughs> Oh, no, you got it. You still got this effect. You know what happens out of this turn, though? Um, your only source of multi-attack is calling uh, Breer Grubs for the soul. This guy actually doesn't yeah. have built-in Vanguard multi-attack in of himself, you know, as his own <laughs> Vanguard. That's so counter what Green mm. on is. That's, uh, yeah, you see, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's well, where well, it's well, short. See, so, yeah, we, we basically said the same thing, but sort of. I'm not talking about the damage effect. I'm talking about how... You're kind of stuck there unless you write regular greed on. Right, <laughs> and so it's like a mask that needs more copies of itself just in order to function is, well, not itself, but more copies of the base version. That's not proper, you know. It's like mm -hmm. you throw those away just to enhance your game state, but your vanguard, you want your mask to be your vanguard. That's why it's just not even really the same. It's like yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, they're the theme of it is off, right? Conceptually speaking, it's flawed. But there is some amount of innovation that's interesting, albeit a little bit far-reaching. But I like it. Uh, so, And that's all we got for Frederick Code. Overall, I gotta admit, his V-Series ideas here is really good. The ground mass is a bit whack, but interesting. But it's the V-Series cards that really shine. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, this guy's got a Dragon Empire ride line inspired by real-life snails that lives in volcanoes. Wow. Fascinating. I. Uh, wow. Huh. Okay. Okay. Um, it's it's both interesting and very blase at the same time i'm not quite sure how to think about that uh okay so dragon empire ride line grade three we've got the obsidian shelled volcanic snail mollusk it's it's mm -hmm. it's, it's trait is snail <laughs> you couldn't have come up with you couldn't have come up with flame sn a slug or blaze slug uh, no it's just fucking flame beast snail Flame beast? beast, yeah, that worked. Right, you know, like yeah, that works. Gear, you know, why not? Or gear beast. <laughs> gear beast, you know. Fuck. It, well, <laughs> it's it's it, 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 my, my vanguard is snail. It, um, next thing I know, they're gonna be uh, like a snake one, and it's gonna be snack. It is uh, snack. <laughs> okay, so be van. No, look, <laughs> surprised. Man auto once per turn. When this unit is attacked by your opponent's rear guard, you may counter blast one, discard one card from your hand, and retire that attacking rear. Okay. Uh, wow. Huh. Uh, that's powerful. Damn. Should be. Uh, ban act soul blast two. This unit gets crit one plus uh, one to end a turn. If your persona ride, this unit gets triple drive. Hey, that means Elmatari doesn't need to discard. <laughs> uh. Uh. Okay. Um. So, crit pressure and drive pressure, and it has a built-in denial griffin, uh, once a turn. Hmm. I mean, considering that's all it does. Okay. Sure. That ain't it. <laughs> yeah. That ain't it, bro. <laughs> Trip out. Uh, I, I do like the implication of this effect, though. Like, the, the second effect feels a little, it, it feels lazy, but, uh, this first effect... Oh, I mean, I guess lazy like a snail. But this first effect is cool. You know, if you were to make built-in denial grip, this is about as realistic as you can make it, right? Uh, which, 
I don't think D series is ready for the now Griffin personally, but hey, at least he built it in pretty well. Uh, Diamond shelled volcanic snail talix is a great two. When it's placed on VC, when it's placed on Vanguard, uh, choose one of your opponent's back row rear and retire it. If no rear guard is retired, you soul charge one. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Sure. Considering it's free, only getting a soul charge. Sure. Uh, rear auto. Counterblast one. When this unit's attack hits, doesn't matter what it hits, it hit a rear guard. You can hit your mother and still proc. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. If no rear guards retire, draw one. Ah, there it is. And with the counter blast. Uh, okay. Sure. Hmm. Uh, see, now um, this, so, is, this is trippy. I'm so disconnected from this because, like, uh... <laughs> these, these snails feel like NFOs, you know? I don't know what to make of them. Like, I. I, I, all I'm thinking is Gary from Spongebob, but like, meow. It, like meow. It's, it's weird, like every time it meows, it spews molten hot, rot lava, but meow. I don't, <gasps> this, it, there's no like consistent theme here. These guys just do good effects. Um, let's continue. Iron shelled volcanic snail gallus. Okay. To be fair. The naming scheme here rocks. Uh, <laughs> snail. Uh, well, what is its race? Snail. <laughs> snail. <laughs> Snake. Uh, van Auto. When it's placed on Van, guard. <laughs> Search your deck for up to one non Sentinel grade one card. Reveal and put it in your hand. If a card was put in your hand, discard one card from your hand. Fair, fair and valid. Uh, cool. <laughs> rear act. Retire this unit. Choose one of your opponent's rear cards in the same column as unit and retire it. Uh, if no regard was retired, counter charge one. Bear, the neck for it. Uh, Paul, cool, stone shell, volcanic snail, Paulus. Uh, forerunner. We have a forerunner. What? <laughs> Crazy. Um, this is the first interesting thing I've seen, uh, other than the denial griffin. Uh, okay, so the rear fuck? auto. When you or your opponent's rear guard is retired, choose one of your units, and it gets power plus three thousand until end of turn. Uh, Act on opponent's turn two. Oh wow, cool. Be... So, uh, you can get a 3k defensive on top of denial griffin thing um wow i feel like mlb just dies inside at the thought of this hey there's a couple more stuff uh some more support to help the snails uh it's a great two normal or the slimy volcanic eruption god i still love these <laughs> these names he understands what he's what he's making is a volcano snail deck right but mm -hmm. I'll be damned if he isn't committed to it. I respect that. Play this if you have a Vanguard with Snail in its card name. When played, your opponent may choose up to two of their rear guards to retire them. For each card not retired, Soul Charge 1. No cards retired, Soul Charge 2. Okay. So you need Soul for the Vanguard effect. And this is how you're getting it. All right. Uh, 13. So Lava. <laughs> volcanic Lava Golem. Oh boy. You get a reference. Uh, rear Auto. Wow. Why, it's a gold. Why is this not Snail? Come on. Snail. Discard one card from your hand. When it's placed on rear, search your deck for the one normal or except for Gala Speed and put in your hand. Damn. Uh, that's easy. Uh, rear auto. Once per turn, Soul Blast 1. At the end of all this unit battle. So at the end of this unit's battle, choose one of the following defects depending on the number of your opponent's units retired. It's burn? I'm gonna assume. Uh, two or less. Stand this unit. Damn. Three or more. Choose one of your units and it gets 15,000 in a turn. Damn! For a Soul Blast cut? I think not. Uh. These are weird. Uh. Like, they have a mm. very loose, unifying theme of retire the opponent's crap. But then the effects is so all over the place for it. It's. I'll be real. The names are cool, and I think that your individual effects are pretty solid, actually. Pretty well designed. But as a mm. whole, it's boring. It's weird to say it, but it's kind of boring. Um, and it's 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 sort of the... You know what's funny about this, Nabs? It's kind of the what? opposite of, of our common a lot of these other works, right? Where we say, oh, it's your... Your theme is there. It's got a, such a cool theme, but you need to work on your effects. This is the opposite. The effects are very well designed, but the theme needs work a little bit. It's like I don't, I don't feel inspired to play this, even though it is well designed. You know? 
Mm-hmm. It's like kind of feels like uh, they took every good thing from uh, from the original G format, and then they like slapped it on a card with the most boring ass sauce ever. Yep, there you go. It's Enjoy. Like G era Kagero, <laughs> best hits. <laughs> Here's your soul. Here's your retires. Here's your denial, Griffin. Fill in the blank. They even gave you a forerunner for good measure. Like, all right. Uh, it's like so. Yeah, that's the first time I've ever had that kind of complaint. Fascinating. You have, you have, ironically enough, by by with this ride line, he has sort of set a precedent for a complaint I've never had before. All right. And for that alone, good on you, mate. Hey, look, noir poet. He remade his uh, Phantom Jokers. Uh, let's let's make Woo! this the last ride line of the night. Uh, end on and on a bang. All right, Noir, what you got for us? Phantom Joker Vile uh, ride line. Cool. He specifies that. Uh, when wrote upon, second draw a card. Flavor text. Destruction stocks early. Neat. Uh, so grade one of the ride line is Phantom Joker Zergus. When this unit is placed on Van Circle, search your deck for up to one Nova Order. Add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. Faction. As I will say with any and every rank eight ride line. Searching the order, the key order, should be when a placed on VC, not when rode over. I'm sorry, Welstra, that was stupid. Uh, all right, continuous rear circle. When you would consume this card for the cost of your card's effect, this card can be consumed as two cards instead of one. All right, that's fine. Uh, good flavor text. Phantom Joker Zelleroth, grade one. Auto. When this unit is consumed, choose a card from your drop zone and consume it. Counter charge one slash soul charge one. Ooh, not once per turn. That's uh, that's a lot of resources. All right. Phantom Joker Reglivia. Grade one. <laughs> I thought of Gravidia for a second there. Power five thousand. Ooh, it's only five thousand. And shield five k. It's an alien. When this unit is placed to rear circle from your order zone, it's kind of funny that you put auto rear circle and then when placed to rear circle, you don't need to put this one here. Uh, so when it's placed on rear from your order zone, you have a face up dark Nova black hole in your order zone. Counter blast one and choose a total of six unit cards from your order zone and hand that are originally yours and put them into your drop zone, minimum one each. Stand your Vanguard and it gets drive minus two. Then, if your Vanguard's drive is zero and you have 13 or more face-up cards in your order zone, it gets crit plus one, and it has a hard once per turn. Oh boy, Nab's hate boner. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even know what the Phantom Jokers did. They're so fucked off into the depths of my brain that I cannot <laughs> tell you anything, but like, eh? I mean, if Eugene did it, you know, <laughs> if Eugene did it, why not? <laughs> yeah, it's 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 a, it's, a, it's kind of a cool idea, though, right? It's like, all right, just drive minus two, them and boom. Uh, I know that there is a bit of, a mixture of effects, right, with it, because to my recollection, it would build up consumed cards and put them in there, right? Put them into your order zone. Uh, <laughs> And then you would build up different effects on your Vanguard based on the number of consumed cards. And I think you could either like, and then you can also like call them from the order zone at some point, which is a, was an interesting part of the gimmick as well. So it's almost like your storage space. You kind of put them in a pocket dimension. Kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, I like this one so far. We'll have to see a lot of the other cards to understand the context of it. Um, but it seems like it's thought out and balanced. Phantom Joker, mm -hmm. go wrong. Okay. It's a right line card. When it's placed on van or rear, okay. Choose a card from your drop okay. and consume it. Soul charge one. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards and consume it. Then if this card is placed on van circle, draw a card. That's too free. What? Uh, what is this? Uh, that's way too free. Uh, when this card is consumed from rear circle, soul blast one. Choose two cards from your drop zone and consume them. Choose up to one of your opponent's rest back or rear guards and consume it. Ah! We're trying to consume opponent rears. Cool. Um... Mm. And it's uh th this effect is kind of neat uh the i this effect is kind of although it ramps up consumes like very easily and i'm a little concerned by that and then this one as well is just uh way too free and you just get to mm -hmm. say f off to the opponent's unit and you get to draw a card for it mm. uh simply enough uh make it van only cb right cb for the cost 
don't soul charge and then prioritize consuming an opponent's rear and if they don't give you one then you draw mm -hmm. that's how you do it oh i guess you can uh i guess you don't need the cb cost at that point Need the cb cost i mean well i guess if you want to essentially make i guess you know there are free like plus ones and ride lines this is a you, you make a good point this is a ride line card so i guess you could do it but the fact that it's removing one and then also getting the draws too much uh it's, mm. it's just too much benefit it's all benefit no drawback phantom joker uh matatog so it's a great shoot rare when placed auto okay so when placed i'm not sure where um they're gonna assume the rear if you have a face up nova card in your order zone soul blast one and choose two cards from your drop and consume them consume up to one trigger unit in your opponent's drop and this unit gets five thousand pound in turn hmm. uh All right. it's rampant consumes very rapidly uh but like that's not a bad payoff that payoff actually seems pretty good it seems pretty even killed um i know we're going through this one by one but i actually want to cheat a little bit and look at the order cards uh let's see uh okay so that's the vanguard right line um oh god oh god oh god he's got so much uh, okay um we can't uh, do all this tonight we don't got time but uh, uh, uh okay. and nobody got the time for that my guy <laughs> here it is okay so this is the set order uh, you will scream even space. Oh, I remember this flavor text. Ah, oh, that's a bit of a nostalgia <laughs> wave. Uh, set order Nova, dark Nova, black hole. Grade one. Activate with cost, put a card from your hand to your soul. I like how it says only with. <laughs> that's funny. It's like for, for the whole new low price of putting one card in your soul, Buckaroo, you get to activate this super duper boner inspiring awesome mega ultra <laughs> testosterone filled i'm just putting too much adjectives you just like who if you try to pay a uh, cash only if you try to pay if you try to pay with credit we'll break your kneecaps <laughs> <laughs> jimmy will take your knees auto at the end of the battle your opponent's unit would be retired you can cost soul blast when to consume it instead uh and i guess consuming it means putting it into the order zone but the and so i guess calling from the order zone must be like it hinges on the vanguard so let's go ahead and go back over here so selenaga i do remember this name i remember these names if your opponent ha if your order zone has six or more face up unit cards this unit cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effects or attacks Ooh. when this unit is placed on rear circle or consumes Counterblast one and choose a card from your drop and consume it. Choose up to you two of your consumed cards and call them the rear circle. And so hard once per turn. Uh, so you see B and consume, but then you call two. Ah, it's a little bit too free. I mean, well, not too free. It's just that it's like, I mean, it is a considering that it could be a plus two in essence. I don't know. I don't know about that. That seems a little bit mm. too good. Hmm. Mm. and then also it protects itself afterwards yeah if it was just one consumed card i think that would be more appropriate plus also when placed on rear circle if he has the ability to call a unit card uh during the battle phase of his vanguard that's another that's a pretty insane multi-attack strat i don't know about that yeah that's a little bit much i think okay so uh, although i will admit this first effect i like a lot <laughs> Phantom Joker, Gigas. Uh, so this is the big bad, big bad alien man. So Spaceman has a couple of effects. First is Van Auto. When a unit attacks a unit, if you have a Nova face up in your order zone, so just the order that we are win over, you counterblast one and consume two of your rear guards. Choose up to one unit card in your order zone and call it to rear circle. If it is your opponent's turn, call it to Guardian Circle instead, and the chosen unit is sent to the drop zone of the original owner at the end of the battle. Okay, so, uh, that's interesting. Second effect, Van Circle Auto. When this unit attacks, counterblast one, consume a card from your hand or rear circle, consume one of your opponent's rear cards. Then, if you have six or more face-up unit cards in your order zone, the unit gets 10,000 power and drive plus one to the end of turn. Hmm. I was afraid I was going to have a drive. Because the thing said if his drive is zero, so it won't get the crit from the order. 
or whatever, whatever that that one card was. It won't get the crit, but it, it will also still be able to maintain one drive and just go to drive minus one. Um, mm. 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 The thing that is unfortunate about this, these need bunch of returns. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, <laughs> ugh, these need once per turns. Oh, God. It can, it can attack infinitely as long as you have CB. <laughs> That's not okay. Wait, well, I think it can attack Dead infinitely, in. right? Uh, Dead in or, right, my guy. Dead, Dead in right, right. right, my guy. Where's the one? When it's called to rear, right? Okay, so it's called to rear. And when a unit attacks, you can call. And then you can call the thing that makes it stand up again so that it can then attack again and then keep doing this. That's that's wild. And then because you're doing this effect again on the next attack afterwards, so you go drive plus one, so it's three drives. Then you do the restand and it's drive minus two, so it's down to drive one. Then it attacks again and it gets drive plus one. Okay, so now you've pushed back on the drive minus one. It's now a drive two. You can then call another copy of that other card. It goes back to drive minus two, but now it gets a crit anyway. And it keeps getting 10,000 power when it does so. Wild. <laughs> I don't even know what to say at this point. <laughs> is this a... Oh, wait, no, this is a hard once per turn. Never mind. Okay, so that's the balance aspect. Okay, so it can't attack infinitely. Thank God. Um, but still. It, uh... It's... it's... It's pretty goaded. Um, this first effect, though, needs the once per turn. So th this especially needs it. If, but if you give once per turn to both of these <laughs> effects, you've got it. That's good. That's solid stuff. Overall, Phantom Jokers, um, yeah. you're you're building up, but then after a while, it's like the buildup isn't all that necessary. It's more just about select selectively putting high quality cards in there, and it's got an interesting transaction between defending and it. Hey, you know what? Uh, I know the Phantom Jokers predated this, if I remember correctly, so it's kind of interesting to see this, but, like, we already now have a ride line that's a lot like it. Um, Heroes. The Hero ride line has a lot to do with the Dark Hole mechanic here, the Consume mechanic, but for them, it's scouting. You scout into bases, and from the bases, you either call them or you garb with them. Now, it's not antagonistic and takes your opponent's crap along with your own, but it still has the same fundamentals. So now we're at a point where it's like, okay, we can kind of draw a comparison there. And when you draw a comparison, their multi-attack is a lot more tamed, um, and they have more consistency with putting things in the consume bit. You consume things really easily here, and you have a lot more offense from the Vanguard. It's just that the rear guards don't really do any offensive stuff. It's all purely Vanguard-oriented. So it's a little bit over the top for what it is. But so a bit more balancing there. However, the concept is primo. And I also think that there's bonus points to some aspects here. He does put some good, really proper balancing bits and also this payoffs. Cause like overall, I like these. They're still too much, I think, but I can see there was a lot of love put in this and I appreciate that. Huh, okay. I think we've done enough for today. <laughs> Me and the homie are a bit exhausted, but these were uh, these, these were a journey to look through, and I'm glad we ended on a rather positive note. Is there anything you wanted to say to the class before we call it a video, Nabs, my boy? Well, um, well, Josh, it's kind of it's all right, you know. There's not any particularly offensive ones. Maybe like uh, it's kind of blessy, I guess, as you would put it. <laughs> yeah, although I will admit, um. These, these were still kind of interesting in some ways. I like the Phantom Jokers for the nostalgia factor. Like, it's kind of amazing that the custom card videos have now hit a nostalgia point with them. Because this, <laughs> this takes me back to, like, our first real foray into the whole ordeal. So that's really cool. And then when you scroll back, the snails also kind of set a precedent for the first thing where I like, wow, everything's amazing except for the concept. <laughs> uh... You got cool V stuff. It's like, yeah, I think there's a lot of really, really cool stuff here. This is another very nice video. The only thing that is hurting us is these goddamn drag assassins. It took a lot of life out of us. And I think our the, the steam to our train was just extinguished after that point. Can, but, I, yeah. can, I, can I be honest with you? Yeah. <laughs> the only re I said that it was uh, not that exciting of a uh, video. 
because I forgot that we reviewed the Drag Assassins. <laughs> Yeah, like obviously these are just, oh man, there's something else. But I mean, everything else that's surrounding it was actually pretty well killed. The Angel Feather stuff is really nice. Uh, Frederick Code had amazing V series stuff to bring to the table. The the snails are developed well, and the Phantom Jokers. I will Jokers say, Jokers. I will say, Denial Griffin on the snail is so not nice. That's so cruel for no effing reason <laughs> uh, you know i think that, like it's such a powerful legendary skill like the denial griffin effect right i'm a mm -hmm. snail <laughs> imagine like a... just looking at a snail and it's just really hot and just looks at you you attempt to touch it and suddenly a giant griffin bites off your finger that's horrifying oh god and weird uh, okay, <laughs> so uh, try to take that imagery out of your mind, audience. Well, that about wraps up this episode of Custom Card Review. And uh, if you did like this one, well, hey, there's a lot more to check out. A few more iterations for this season of Custom Cards, as well as a lot more from the past couple seasons of Custom Cards, all in the playlist that I have on my channel down below. Furthermore, if you would like to see other kinds of Vanguard content, I got loads of it. Cheer list, top 10 videos, fight nights, everything you can think of just about. Eh, just about. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you do go over there and you like what you see, then perhaps leave a subscribe and turn on the notification bell for the next time I upload a video. And with that, take care. God bless.